landscape of business news. Inspiring you with cutting edge analysis. Carpet bombing you with 360 degree perspective. And powering your decision making. India's first business news channel in HD. CNBC TV 18 Prime HD. Welcome back. The promoter of Hindustan National Glass have put in place a unique strategy to grow the business. They take over six companies, turn them around successfully at double quick time. To understand how they manage to keep pulling out aces at regular intervals, my colleague Veena Krishna caught up with CK Somani, promoter of Hindustan National Glass and his son Mukul Somani at the sprawling residence in Kolkata. Mr. Somani, Mr. Mukul, Mr. Ripal, thank you for joining us. Mr. Somani, I'll begin with you. You know, Hindustan National Glass is a market leader since inception in the container glass segment. What do you attribute your success to? Well, Veena, our success has been our business model to support our customer, give them bottle at competitive prices, give them solutions for packaging, and at the end of the day, after all, cost is a factor. We have to score on other packaging material. That has been a very good uh, I should, reason why people choose us. And furthermore, our excellence in management, our key people, our technological improvement that we've been making, keeps us abreast. We feel that we can we have retained our position because of the technical prowess that we have. Mr. Mukul, but the world of packaging is changing 360 degrees. We're moving from bottles to Tetra packs to pet bottles. Your customers like Horlicks and Coke and Pepsi have also changed to plastics. How do you deal with these changes? I think we have to realize that we are part of the packaging industry and we have to continuously invest in R&D and innovate. As you use, use the right word, 360, you know, people, a lot of people who went out of glass into plastics are now coming back to glass because of the changes in approach in terms of, uh, should we say, ecologic friendly products, sustainable friendly product, where glass scores distinctly better. So if we take the uh, example of mature markets, we'll find that the growth is pretty much in line. We have now acquired a plant in Germany and I'm happy to state that uh, despite uh, tough market condition where the marginal growth of one one and a half percent so I think glass is here to stay but you do have to keep doing technology and product innovations so that absolutely. with the time so what are those kind of changes absolutely you know as I said glass suffers from two areas of concern one is fragility in term and weight so the focus of research and development in glass is to overcome these two basic issues and therefore we uh, upgrade our process to produce more lightweight bottles, bottles with uh, higher impact resistance, bottles which are molded in more interesting shapes and sizes which capture the aspiration of the product and the consumer. And it's been interesting right? as you possibly already know glass is one of the most formable packaging material. If you see you will find most uh, PET bottles around and most tetra bracks in uh, rectangular shape. But glass bottles can be shaped in any shape or size. So we try to take advantage of this and cover up the two concern areas of fragility and weight. To give you some examples, we have recently invested in narrow neck press and blow technology, which is a technology in India operated exclusively by us, mainly to produce up to now infusion bottles, which are close to bre breakable free. In the, in the pharmaceutical market, it's very important to have products which do not have a risk of breakage and we have accomplished that quite effectively. We will roll this out into other areas of course, including liquor and beer in due course of time. Okay, so any uh, yeah, client examples that you can give that you have kept, you know, changing for them? Sure. Uh, I am happy to state in 2005, we were the first among Coca-Cola worldwide suppliers to be chosen for the ultra launch, you know, that punch. Ekka Paanch Syndrome and uh, we worked with the, uh, their team in Atlanta to roll this low cost uh, short beverage using very high technology. Another example is a couple of bottles which you see here uh, which are uh, innovated to make shapes and sizes which were hitherto not available at very economic costs. Ultimately our customer and consumer have to be demands value for money and we have to be part of the business to give that to them. 
Okay, so uh, Hindustan National Class has been growing, you know, has been expanding capacities in the inorganic way. You have done five acquisitions and that of loss-making companies. So what is that thinking and strategy behind that? You see, in 1999, when we realized that this was a capital goods industry, capital intensive industry to work upon and our market share around 23, 24 percent, we thought that we have to get to economies of scale and uh, build a scenario where we could be comfortable to invest in the industry. Therefore, we started our hunt for acquisitions and our first acquisition was in 2002, January, Owens Brockway, very challenging, uh, picked up from the world's largest supplier when they were was largest uh, container goods uh, supplier when they exited India. And then we carried on with Larsen and Tubro, Haryana Sheet Glass, now a plant in Germany. So we do believe that we have grown by 30% CAGR over the last decade or so. And we will continue that growth. Our market share today around 58%, which bears testimony to our successful business model. But, uh, you know, these were loss-making companies. So what do you think that they did wrong and you did right? I don't like to say what they did wrong. I like to concentrate on what we did right, I think, which is more important. Stuck to the basics, uh, sweated assets, ran to full capacity, and integrated the process in a way where we could leverage our experience within the industry for the last 55, 60 years. I think to summarize, that is what we did, which was different. And uh, it was good common sense, I think, which made the difference. Nothing rocket science on the face of it. So what is the biggest risk you would say you have taken in business? When we took over Owens Brockway in 2002, uh, if those loss losses would have continued 18 months or so, we would have wiped out our net worth by more than 50%. So I would like think that was the biggest risk which we took. By God's grace, it turned out pretty well in the end. Okay, Mr. Iqbal, what would you say makes Hindustan National Class stick? HNG has obviously been uh, in this industry for the last 50 years. It's a market leader. Uh, we ourselves have worked with HNG for the last 25 years or so. So I would say what makes a company tick is the fact that one is that it's very focused on this sector. It's a market leader but it's ensured that it maintains the market leadership. The second part is as a market leader is always stayed ahead on the product and innovation. And the third which is very important is that uh, it's not really a retail environment, this sector. It's a classic B2B environment. So you need to ensure that your corporate customers are always let to, looked after and you create that interdependence that you work as real partners and I think th those are the factors which have really worked with HNG well and clearly the management and the transitions of various management and the way it's been built up has also assisted the company in ensuring it is where it is at this moment. Okay, Mr. Sumani, uh, you know, you've been there for so many years, you've founded the company pre-independence. What are the challenges you would say today a businessman in India faces? Well, we have to be globally competitive, understand? But basic is, we just cannot live on selling in India, sub making supplies to India. We have to think of going abroad. We are exporting to a number of countries. The product has to be accepted by them. We have to improve on those. And the ultimate goal is we have to be there at the present as we, as in Germany when we took over the plant, one of the reasons that we will be present there in that country, we can better find out what they want. Improvements in our Indian operations will be much quicker than if we keep ourselves isolated. You can buy technology to do, but the question is to have hands-on feeling, you have to have your own plant to know where th how things are and how things work in abroad. Okay. Mr. Mukherjee, what would you say are the challenges? Businessmen in India have to face a high growth scenario where they have to keep market share but have problems in inputs and distribution. In our case, the inputs mainly related, uh, relate to energy and raw material. Most of our inputs of raw material are mining and so mining policies continue to be a cause for concern. On top of that, uh, power is a major input as far as we are concerned and uh, given the issues of coal India, post uh, issue of IPO and the rise in price of imported coal and the issues of problems in increasing mineability of coal, these are issues which we have to be very careful about. Okay, so after more than 40 years, you are now setting up a greenfield project. Why is that? Very simple. I think we have run out of acquisitions in India to do. We, as I mentioned, we have grown 30% CAGR over the last decade or so. We would have loved to get 
opportunities here, but then we have our responsibility toward this industry. We have to make product available, we have to innovate on technology and we have to give our customers what they want. So therefore we have to invest in, in greenfield and brownfield expansion. Let me clarify, we have one brownfield expansion in Nasik, which is nearing completion and one greenfield in Naidu Peta. Okay, Mr. So Uppal, today you know, the HNG is you know, going global. So what is the kind of global strategy you would advise them on? From what we know of HNG, uh, clearly being a market leader, which comes with privileges but which comes with responsibility also, they need to set the standards or the benchmark as far as the industry is concerned. And from that perspective, I agree with Mukul that if you've got an asset or a company in a more matured economy, you really know what the trends are over the next couple of decades and you'll be then be able to bring those learnings back to your core market, which is in India. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mukul, where do you draw your inspiration from? Reading and meditation. Uh, reading, I, I love reading books, not only for the information, but also from, for insights. Who is your role model? I think he's sitting on my left. My father is my role model. I think he had the foresight to see the growth in the Indian market and prepare our group and company for that. So, Mr. Mukul, what do you think uh, is needed for a businessman to make it big? I think first, the businessman has to find out an industry or a service which is Sunrise, which has a large market potential, do thorough analysis and then get into that industry or service. Thereafter, one has to have a passion to develop it, take calculated risks, build a good strategic and execution team and above all be patient to see the downturns and move up through that. Okay, Mr. Samani, Mr. Mukul, Mr. Upal, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Well, what comes out loud and clear is that promoters are patient and steadfast in the strategy. These are the mantras that Somanis used to build Hindustan National Glass. Stick to knitting. The company is attained leadership position by being a single product company. Take prudent business decision and be patient during downturn. Use buy route at regular intervals to give big push to your business. That has been the philosophy of this company. Build economies of scale. This strategy helps them to beat competition in terms of pricing and bagging big orders. And finally, sweat your assets and ensure your investment in technology pays back. Seems a no-brainer, but what makes Somani successful is that they have been assiduously following these mantras for over 60 years now and the result is for all to see. On that note, it is time to say goodbye. See you next week with another interesting episode. Till then, keep watching CNBC TV. by HSBC Commercial Banking. Papa, hmm? which month is this? December. Wow! December is here? Yay! December! 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 Deals for daddies. Happiness for kids. The Hyundai December Delight. Buy a Hyundai and get attractive offers. Offer well if the stock lasts. Haji! Hyundai. Mutual funds may invest karna lagta hai mushkil. खाने पड़ते हैं फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर्स के ऑफिस के धक्के दिन भर टीवी और अखबार पर रखनी पड़ती है नजर टेंशन हटाओ ले आओ सीएमजी से आवाज म्यूचुअल फंड गाइड गौरिका चौधरी और जाने माने एक्सपर्ट से पाओ एडवाइस घर बैठे बनो एक्सपर्ट विद सीएमजी से आवाज म्यूचुअल फंड गाइड तो डीवीडीज का पैक सिर्फ तीन सौ निन्यानवे रूपए में अरे आज भी लिफ्ट बंद थी यार कंप्लेंट की तुमने अपनों की गुड हेल्थ के लिए हेल्थ प्रॉमिस लीजिए लॉग ऑन टू योर हेल्थ फर्स्ट डॉट आई एम मैक्स बुबा हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस योर हेल्थ फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट इश्यू ऑफ फोर्ब्स इंडिया ऑन स्टैंड्स नाउ
की नंबर वन फोटोग्राफी मैगजीन बेटर फोटोग्राफी अब हिंदी में भी Big impact on the market would be, of course, on the monetary policy, which got or changes which got announced on Saturday for a quick review. Moneycontrol.com brings you business news in a whole new way.